So this is purely a demo and uh, we are going to give you the details about what we are going to discuss in the training and how long the training is going to be and, uh, and uh, how the content is and what kind of installations that we provide and uh, how that helps you to understand the ETL testing and everything will be discussed as part of this. Okay. So now, okay, uh, to just to uh, start with, uh, right, uh, we need to first understand about what is a data warehouse is all about and what is a database is all about. Uh, we'll just go from the basics. I'm not sure uh, all of you have a database background and that's why let me just give you what is a database is all about and uh, how the database is uh, I mean how the database is required ETL testing process and all those so when we talk about a data uh, database is something it's a, a software which stores the data in the form of tables so it will store the data in the tables a table is nothing but which just contains the columns and rows so just like your Excel sheet, the data will be stored in the form of tables. To store the data, I mean, we have various database products which are available. We have an Oracle database which will store the data in the tables. We have SQL Server database from Microsoft which will also use as a database to store the data. And, uh, and you have Teradata, so which is like Teradata and you have DB2 and uh, you have so many other type of databases like a Sybase and everything which you have. So all these databases stores the data in tables and there will be a relationship between one table to the other table. So that's why we call a DBMS in the technical terms we call it as an RDBMS. RDBMS stands for a Relational Database Management System. So these are all the different databases which are available. So once you understand about the database, so we need to also understand about what is SQL is all about. So SQL is nothing but, you know, uh, in order to communicate with the database, let's say if you want to add the data to the database or if you would like to retrieve the data from database or if you would like to remove the data from database, then you needed a language that language is nothing but an SQL. So SQL is a language invented by the IBM for interacting with the databases, so which we call it as a structured query language. So this using the structured query, you can communicate with all these databases, whatever you have. So SQL is a common language to communicate with all these databases, uh, which you mean um, you can uh, so common language which is there. So the SQL is being divided into different types of commands. So when we step into the ETL testing, we will understand first SQL as an SQL, as SQL plays an important role in understanding or testing the data warehouse. So this is a background about what is a database is all about and what is a SQL is all about. So everybody, most of the people think that Oracle and SQL are both are same. It's not the same. SQL is a language and Oracle, SQL Server, these are all the databases what we have available in the market. So in order to communicate with it, you need to know the SQL language, right? So that is your database and a SQL. Now, we will understand about what is a data warehouse is all about. So why do we call uh, it as a data warehouse? So let's say when we look at the I mean, when you, if you want to understand what is a data warehouse, a data warehouse is nothing but the database only. So it's nothing but the database where we are storing the data for analyzing the analyzing purpose. So analyzing, so what do you mean by analysis? Analysis is nothing but find business profits, how your business is doing, uh, how many number of products that you are selling, all those things can be with the help of a data warehouse. So the data warehouse um, is nothing but a database. So when you are building a data warehouse, it's that I can choose a data warehouse as any database. I can choose Oracle database as a data warehouse or I can choose 
SQL Server as a data warehouse or I can choose Sybase or a DB2, any database as a data warehouse. So data warehouse is nothing but a where the data is being stored that is called as a data warehouse. So what is the use of that and how you are going to uh, load the data into the data warehouse and those things you can call it as a business analysis. What kind of analysis and all will that do? So before understanding about the ETL process, we need to know the two types of applications. One is called as a transaction oriented application. Another is called as an analytical oriented application. So let's talk about what do you mean by an OLTP. OLTP is nothing but an online transaction processing system. Online transaction processing system. So why do we call these systems as an online transaction processing system is because there will be a frequent transactions will be happening on the system. Uh, frequent transactions will be happening. That's why we call it as an OAPP system. So what kind of applications we call it as an OLDP? So let's say if you have a mainframe application, so which is there to handle all your, all your customer, daily customer related operations. That is your OLTP application. Otherwise, any e-commerce application. When I say e-commerce application, something like Amazon, eBay, uh, eBay or any other type of, uh, any other type of uh, these things, uh, e-commerce applications, so one OLTP application or else Whenever you walk into a Walmart, there the agents will be entering the details into a system to generate an invoice. That is nothing but a OLTP application. So OIL, uh, your ATM withdrawal is an OLTP application or your internet banking system is an OLTP application or your airline reservation system that is an OLTP application. So these are all the different uh, OLTP applications which we have in the market. So all these applications will store the data for a customer analysis purpose. I mean, uh, for a customer daily operations, we store the data in the database. Now, when we talk about the another type of application that is called as a OLAP. OLAP stands for a online analytical processing system. Online analytical processing system. So which we have and online analytical processing system. This is also called as a data warehouse. Now, OLTP is a system that where we receive the data by the customer. See, whenever you book a ticket on the airline reservation system, that means there is some data which is getting added to the database. So these OLTP systems uh, and your OLAP system all will store the data in the form of database only. So let me give you the uh, clear picture, what do you mean by an OLDP and what do you mean by an OLAP here. So this, uh, you have a different OLDP system. So just assume that you have a city bank which is a global player. So they have an operation operations into USA. Uh, this internet banking system which they have developed in USA, assume that they are storing the data in the form of Oracle database. So in the APAC region or in India region also they have an, a banking system. Even in this, they are storing the data in the SQL Server database or something. So these two are, which I call it as an OLTP application. This, I call it as an OLTP uh, US. And uh, this, I call it as an OLTP, uh, let's say, India. So you have two OLTP applications where the data is being stored in the two different databases. So whenever a customer performs the transaction, so the data will get added to these OLTP applications. So whenever customer performs a transaction, so this is added. So this way, the data will get added to the OLTP system. So who is going to access this OLTP application? Customer like us. Let's say you are a, 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 you are a customer to the city bank and uh, you are performing certain transaction on the city bank, then all the data will get stored into these OLTP systems. Now, when we go to the data warehouse or an OLAP system, so when we say an OLAP or a data warehouse, all are same. So data warehouse is nothing but the centralized database 
to store the data. So when you are designing a data warehouse, that's nothing but the database. I can choose any database as a data warehouse, Teradata system. Let's say you have a different OLTP system and assume that you're also having the data in some flat files. So let's say the data is available in the different flat files. So if you are integrating the data from all these OLTP applications, if you are integrating the data from all these OLTP applications and the different flat files into the data warehouse for analysis purpose, that process of integrating the data from OLTP to OLAP, that process is called as an ETL process. ETL stands for extract, transform and load. So you are going to integrate this into this one. So this, the process of, uh, what do you mean by an extraction? Extraction is nothing but the reading of the data from database. So how do you read the data from database? That is by using a select statement in a SQL. So you are going to use a SQL select statement and you do that. And the next one is transforming of the data. So transformation is nothing but uh, modifying the data, uh, modifying the data or uh, changing the data from one form to the other form, that is your transformation, so which you have. So transforming the data and the next one is L, L stands for a load. Load is nothing but the adding the data to the database, that is nothing but your insert statement into using an SQL. So you will read the data from OLTP system, you will transform the data and then load the data into the data warehouse for an analysis purpose. So that process is called as an ETL process. So to do this ETL process, we have various ETL tools which are available in the market. These are all like a middleware tools which are available in the market. So when you see uh, different ETL tools, something like your Informatica Power Center, that is one ETL tool to integrate the data. And another ETL tool that is you have a data stage and you have it as an ab initio and uh, data stage, ab initio, and you also have something called as an ODI, Oracle Data Integrator, and different other tools uh, which you have like uh, Pentaho and all the other tools are also there, which are used to integrate the data from OLTP systems into the data warehouse. So that process is called as an ETL process. And once you load the data into the data warehouse, so how what is the use of integrating the data? Why we are spending so much money in integrating the data from one database to the other database? It's basically, uh, you are going to analyze the data uh, with the help of uh, reporting tools. What do you mean by analysis? Analysis is nothing but uh, uh, identifying the profits about your business, identify the profits, and similarly, uh, identifying the growth of your business, growth to calculate the growth and if you want to find out the number of products that you are selling on a day to day basis. So if you want to identify the performance of your employees, so or performance of your sales team, how they are actually generating. So if you want to analyze the revenues uh, according to the region, so this kind of uh, reports or why do we need analyze the revenues according to region? So if you need to analyze the data in terms of this, then we build the data warehouse. What is the need of identifying all these questions? So what, how does these answers will help me? So basically when you build a data warehouse and understand your business, you can improve your business in terms of a growth, in terms of a revenue, in terms of a, a, a customer uh, service, all those things will be improved, which eventually improves your revenues and the business. So to analyze the data, to identify all these things, to again to analyze the data in the data warehouse, we are going to make use of the another set of a tools that is called as a BI tools. BI stands for a business intelligence tools, business intelligence tools. So which uh, you derive, so this business intelligence tools, what it does is it generates the reports for your business users. When I say business user, your business user is nothing but a CEO of the company or CFO of the company 
or sales distribution manager or a marketing manager of the company. So for them, it helps you to generate the reports and the reports can be in the form of uh, bar graphs and uh, line graphs, pie charts, so any type of thing. So pie chart or in the tabular format, in just like an Excel format, in the tabular format, you can generate the reports in any format. All your BI tools does is it will generate the reports, whatever the data that you wanted from the database. So you have various BI tools available in the market again. So when the BI tools, uh, that what you have is uh, you have um, you have OBIE Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition, and you have uh, Business Objects, and you have Cognos. These are all the different BI tools, and even you have so many uh, SSRS and MicroStrategy, Tableau. All these are all the different uh, uh, BI tools which are available in the market and which helps you to analyze the data. 